Ranger 2 was an early NASA space probe launched on November 18, 1961, as part of the Ranger program. The Ranger program was a series of unmanned space missions whose primary goal was to obtain close-up images of the Moon's surface and transmit them back to Earth. The program was designed to support the Apollo program's goal of landing humans on the Moon. Ranger 2 was launched from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida on a Thor Agena rocket. The probe had a mass of 329 kilograms and was equipped with six television cameras, two radiation detectors, and various other scientific instruments. Its main objective was to perform a lunar impact, in which the spacecraft would crash into the moon's surface and transmit data back to Earth until impact. However, the mission was unsuccessful, as Ranger 2 malfunctioned shortly after launch. The Agena second stage rocket did not ignite properly, and the spacecraft was left in a low Earth orbit. Attempts to correct the trajectory failed, and the mission was terminated. Despite the mission's failure, Ranger 2 helped pave the way for later, more successful lunar missions in the Ranger program. The program eventually succeeded in its goal of obtaining close-up images of the Moon's surface and providing valuable data for future manned missions. Ranger 2 was the second spacecraft in the Ranger program, following the unsuccessful launch of Ranger 1 in August 1961. The program continued with a series of subsequent missions with Ranger 3 through 5 intended to be lunar impact missions like Ranger 2. However, all three of these missions failed to reach their targets, either missing the moon entirely or crashing on its surface without transmitting any useful data. It wasn't until Ranger 7, launched in July 1964, that the program finally achieved its primary goal of capturing high-resolution images of the lunar surface before crashing. Ranger 7 transmitted over 4,300 high-quality images of the Moon's surface during its final 17 minutes of flight. The Ranger program was significant in paving the way for the Apollo program in the first manned lunar landing in 1969. The data and images obtained by the Ranger spacecraft provided crucial information on the Moon's surface and helped NASA plan safe landing sites for the Apollo missions. Overall, while Ranger 2 itself was a failure, it was a stepping stone in the development of space exploration technology and paved the way for future successful missions in the Ranger program and beyond. Ranger 2 was one of the earliest attempts to explore the Moon through the use of robotic spacecraft. It was designed to gather data on the Moon's surface composition, structure, and radiation environment, as well as to test technologies for lunar exploration. The spacecraft was equipped with a telemetry system that transmitted data to Earth, including information on the spacecraft's trajectory, temperature, and radiation levels. The cameras on board were designed to capture images of the Moon's surface and transmit them back to Earth for analysis. Despite the mission's failure, the data collected by Ranger 2 provided valuable information for future missions. For example, the radiation data gathered by Ranger 2 helped NASA develop strategies for shielding astronauts from the hazardous radiation environment around the Moon during the Apollo missions. In addition to its scientific goals, the Ranger program had significant political and symbolic significance during the Cold War era. The program was seen as a way for the United States to demonstrate its technological capabilities and compete with the Soviet Union in the space race. Overall, while Ranger the second of may not have achieved its primary objective of impacting the Moon's surface and transmitting data, it played a significant role in the development of space exploration technology and provided valuable data for future lunar missions. One of the key technological advancements of the Ranger program was the development of the Atlas Agena launch vehicle. The Atlas Agena rocket was designed specifically for lunar and deep space missions, and it played a critical role in the success of the Ranger program, as well as other early NASA missions, including the Mariner missions to Venus and Mars. The Ranger program was also significant in advancing the field of planetary science. Prior to the program, scientists had only limited information about the Moon's surface. The high-quality images and data obtained by the Ranger spacecraft allowed scientists to study the Moon in unprecedented detail and gain new insights into its geology, composition, and history. The Ranger program also helped pave the way for later robotic missions to the Moon, including the Lunar Orbiter program, which produced detailed maps of the Moon's surface, and the Surveyor program, which landed spacecraft on the Moon and conducted experiments to prepare for future manned missions. In conclusion, while Ranger the 2nd of May have been a failed mission, it was a crucial step in the development of space exploration technology and planetary science. The data and technological advancements made by the Ranger program helped lay the groundwork for future successful lunar missions and played a key role in advancing our understanding of the Moon and the solar system as a whole. Another key aspect of the Ranger program was its focus on system engineering and reliability. 
The program was notable for its emphasis on rigorous testing and quality control, which helped ensure the success of subsequent missions in the program. The Ranger spacecraft themselves were designed to be simple and robust, with few moving parts and redundant systems to increase reliability. The spacecraft were also equipped with gold-plated surfaces to help regulate temperature and prevent overheating during their journey through space. In addition to its scientific and technological goals, the Ranger program also had significant public outreach and educational components. The program generated a great deal of public interest and enthusiasm, and NASA worked to engage the public through educational materials, public lectures, and media coverage of the missions. The Ranger program also had a significant impact on the careers of many scientists and engineers who worked on the missions. Many of these individuals went on to play key roles in other NASA programs, including the Apollo program and the Space Shuttle program. Overall, the Ranger program was a significant achievement in the history of space exploration. The program helped pave the way for future lunar missions and advanced our understanding of the Moon and the Solar System. The program also demonstrated the importance of rigorous testing and quality control in the development of space exploration technology and set a standard for reliability that continues to shape the field today. One of the key challenges of the Ranger program was the development of technology to accurately navigate and guide the spacecraft to their targets. The early Ranger missions relied on inertial guidance systems, which were prone to errors and did not provide the level of accuracy required for a lunar impact mission. To overcome this challenge, NASA developed a new guidance system for the later Ranger missions, which used a combination of inertial guidance and celestial navigation. The new system allowed the spacecraft to use the stars and the moon itself as reference points to adjust their trajectory and accurately guide themselves to their targets. The Ranger program also faced significant technical challenges in developing cameras capable of capturing high-quality images of the moon's surface. The early Ranger missions suffered from camera malfunctions and other technical issues that prevented them from transmitting useful data. However, by the time of the later Ranger missions, NASA had developed new camera technology that was able to capture detailed images of the moon's surface before the spacecraft impacted the surface. The Ranger program also faced significant budgetary and political challenges. The program was originally planned as a low-cost, fast-track project, but technical difficulties and delays pushed the program's costs and timeline beyond their initial estimates. Additionally, the program faced criticism from some quarters for its perceived lack of scientific value and for its emphasis on competing with the Soviet Union in the space race. Despite these challenges, the Ranger program was ultimately a success. The program demonstrated the feasibility of lunar and deep space missions, paved the way for future robotic and manned missions to the Moon, and advanced our understanding of the Moon and the Solar System. The Ranger program had a significant impact on the public perception of space exploration and inspired many young people to pursue careers in science and engineering. The program generated a great deal of excitement and interest, and the images and data transmitted by the Ranger spacecraft captivated the public imagination. The Ranger program also played a significant role in the political and strategic context of the Cold War era. The program was seen as a way for the United States to demonstrate its technological capabilities and to assert its leadership in the space race against the Soviet Union. The program also had symbolic significance, representing the possibility of peaceful exploration and cooperation in space. The Ranger program was not without controversy, however. Some critics questioned the scientific value of the program and argued that the money and resources could be better spent on other scientific and social priorities. Others criticized the program for its emphasis on competition and nationalism, arguing that space exploration should be a global effort. Despite these criticisms, the Ranger program remains a significant milestone in the history of space exploration. The program demonstrated the technical feasibility of lunar missions and laid the groundwork for subsequent robotic and manned missions to the Moon. The program also advanced our understanding of the Moon and the Solar System and inspired a new generation of scientists and engineers.